Hey everyone, this is James at your favorite Aiken Bottle Shop, Cork and Cap, uh, here to tell you about a really exciting promotion we have going on this week, Master's Week. Although being the fall, it doesn't feel like Master's Week, but uh, just a, another kind of curveball that 2020 has thrown us this year. Um, you know, it looks like it might be a little bit of a soggy week uh, for the guys in Augusta, but um, we've got plenty of liquid sunshine uh, to help you with your Master's watching parties. And uh, our green jacket three pack that we're rolling out this week in limited quantities uh, is just gonna be a perfect way to take all the guesswork out of it and just uh, grab a three pack of just winning wines that um, we picked because, you know, the Masters is all about tradition. And uh, these wines are also all about just the most traditional expressions of their specific locales. Um, these are not uh, cutting edge, bleeding edge, this isn't like supernatural, experimental, anything like that. These are wines that really just typify what made these regions uh, famous to begin with. Uh, first up from Broadbent, we have their Vino Verde. Um, Vino Verde being the northernmost appellation in Portugal. Uh, they actually make all kinds of wines in Vino Verde. They make red, white, pink, still, sparkling, sweet, dry. Um, but it's most well known for these sort of lighter bodied, um, very, very slightly effervescent, totally food friendly, but also pairs really well with just sunshine and a patio, uh, little white wines like this. And, um, you know, if you're going to push the TV out onto the patio, maybe, uh, enjoy some of the intermittent sunshine that we have, uh, this week, uh, this would just be a, a perfect way to accompany that and, um, pairs well with any kind of light nibbles that you would put with it. But again, also just really delightful on its own. Next is Chateau O Maginet uh, Bordeaux. This comes uh, from the right bank of Bordeaux. Um, and so you're going to be uh, uh, looking at a wine that is dominated by Merlot, but also has pretty generous doses of Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc, and has the flavors that you would associate with those. So big dark fruit flavors, blueberry, cassis, things like that. Um, pretty generous dollop of oak on there as well and uh, just something that really typifies what makes Bordeaux uh, such a classic, such a go-to uh, for any kind of bistro list out there. You know, you can hardly think of a really world-class restaurant that doesn't have some Bordeaux on their list. Um, much of it is stratospherically expensive, but much of it actually main, remains quite attainable. And the Omagene uh, is just a, a great, great example of that. Um, beautiful bottle, great for people who love Bordeaux anyway, but also great for people who love Cab and Merlot or maybe Cab Merlot blends and don't realize that Merlot, red Merlot, I'm sorry, Bordeaux, red Bordeaux is almost exclusively Cab Merlot blends. Um, so if you're somebody who kind of identifies as I like red blends, then you almost certainly like Bordeaux. Finally, from our side of the pond, uh, we've got Broadside Cabernet from Paso Robles. Um, this is uh, Stephanie Matizzi's uh, brainchild with her, uh, with her husband. And uh, basically what they do is they seek out these great uh, sort of out of the way parcels of fruit in Paso Robles um, that you know, maybe don't quite get the press that Napa gets, maybe don't quite get the press that the Sonoma Coast gets, but Paso is a region that is very often sought out by European winemakers coming over here to start their own American projects because it gives you so many ideal climactic situations. Um, long, hot days during the summer for good ripening, but then a high desert climate so that at night it gets cold real fast, but you have rocks that hold in the heat for the roots. So all of that adds up to just big, big flavors, but still really good balance. So you get something that tastes like a big, muscular California Cabernet, but doesn't taste like flabby, no acid smuckers that's been fermented. Um, we love this wine. Uh, I used to run a wine bar in Greenville where we poured this by the glass and every time we would try to take it off, people would be like, no, no, where'd the broadside go? Um, and yeah, just for California cab fans, straight up Main Street for you uh, would be great with uh, any sort of like steak dinner that you might wanna have uh, on the last day of the Masters if you're celebrating your favorite winning or consoling yourself for your favorite losing. Uh, either way, uh, a great match. These three wines uh, bought separately add up to what is already a great deal at $45. Put them together in the Green, Master, in the green Jacket three pack uh, for this week and we'll take 10 bucks off. It goes down to $35. 
Uh, I think I said on one of the posts, like to put that in perspective, um, if you want to get a sleeve of commemorative balls, three balls out of the, the pro shop in Augusta, it's $36. Uh, so a great deal, no matter how you look at it. Um, we've got a good bit of these to go around, but not unlimited. So um, get online and reserve yours now. Um, give us a call at the store, come by the store. Um, but yeah, we hope to see you soon and uh, we hope you grab your Green Jacket 3-pack. Thanks.